Hi, I'm Bjorn Stolt, working as an application engineer for Martin Professional. In this video, we will look at the effect macros for framing in the Mac Ultra performance. Select the fixture and on FX2, select the special framing effect FX1 Y axis, which allows FX2's rate to control the Y axis of the shape selected in FX1. On FX1, you select one of the predefined shapes that you want to control, like the medium square in this case. Then use FX1 rate and FX2 rate to move the shape around in X and Y axis. The effect works well over gobos, in midair or as projection effects. The list of shapes is quite long, as you see if you check out the whole effect channel. So selecting something like a vertical bar slim will give you a slim vertical bar that you can control the position of with the FX1 rate channel. A horizontal bar slim will also be controlled by FX1's rate channel. You also have shape to shape effects that move between shapes and the speed is controlled by the FX1 rate with a different pattern if you go up from 50 or down from 50 in the same way as gobo rotation channels change the direction of the gobo rotation. This was a quick look at the effect macros for framing in the Mac Ultra performance. Thank you for watching.